Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be talking with you about the new data plans that were just announced for the iPhone on AT&T. So let's go on and get started with these new data plans that are extremely exciting and will make the iPhone even more affordable than ever. Because usually most of the problem people getting an iPhone, it's not the 100 200 bucks. It's the data plan that 30 bucks a month you've got to pay up to AT&T even if you're not going to use that internet. Even if you're not going to you know, be using that. So AT&T's got a solution here. So it's starting June 7th. So, WDC, I'll probably be announcing this along with the new iPhone also, or be telling everybody. But uh, you can stick with your current Unlimited if you choose, which is a big deal to me, just because you don't have to change your data plan. You can stick with the one you want, or the, the one you have, if you so choose. Which you can change your data plan without hurting your contract at all, um, for free. So, here's what you're going to, so let's talk about what the new ones are. Well, you got a Data Pro plan which is which which is a $25 a month plan which gives you a 2 a 2 gigabyte cap on data which say you're getting close to that you know you got 1.5 gigabytes 18t you'll send you a text message to let you know if you're running low which is really nice and then you've got the $15 a month plan which is data plus which is 200 megabytes which they'll do the same thing if you're reaching 191 megabytes they'll tell you so that way you don't overspend or overuse it. And then they won't be offering unlimited after June 7th. So if you've got a phone, uh, so just I'll let you know, so the new iPhones will not have the unlimited data. And let, so let's talk about tethering. Um, tethering something that at t has been really late on. It, the iPhone supported tethering since, I don't know, June of last year. It's taken them a year, but now they're going to start offering tethering for 2 gigabyte cap. Is, is what I would think. I didn't. It would be twenty dollars for two gigabyte cap. Is what I think. I didn't see it in the press release that I read. And uh, this is really a big deal because now almost anybody can afford an iPhone. You say, and then what makes these data plans even more important is, say you've only got that two hundred megabyte plan, you can go to any McDonald's in the country and use their free Wi-Fi almost. So you, it makes it a big deal because you don't have to have that. Sure, it's a bit slower at McDonald's. I agree with you. But you can go to any McDonald's, any Starbucks, anybody that has free Wi-Fi, log on with your iPhone, which is what I usually do, and I don't need that unlimited data. I barely use it. I stream a little bit of video now and again, but nothing that dramatic on the network. So AT&T announced this, you know, because they've been having really big issues with their network. You know, it's like in San Francisco and New York. I think I heard in New York they had like 50% drop call rate at one time, so... 50% of the people, every time they make a phone call, it will drop, which really stunk on AT&T. So AT&T is really stepping up to the plate. They're really trying. Uh, not doing as much as they probably should. They should have announced this a year ago, and this would have made a lot more sense. But, uh, you know, better late than never, I suppose. So that is it. I'll put more information in the description if you need it. And uh, that's about it. I will see you later, YouTube. Don't forget to rate, comment, and <laughs> rate, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Sorry about that. I Get kind of confused. So don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. YouTube, you have a great day.